honor mr ash mohammed deputy director general of shipping government of india sir has experience handling merchant shipping law shipping development international cooperation and matters related to international maritime organization at the directorate general of shipping ministry of ports and waterways government of india i warmly welcome you sir on behalf of mnlu mumbai and request you to kindly share with us a few words of wisdom thank you very much first of all uh, let me apologize on behalf of my dg he was supposed to address this gathering but due to some urgent meeting called by the ministry he is unable to attend he has directed me to attend the meeting respected vice chancellor respected president wnu respected registrar professor mukherjee and all the distinguished guest let me first pay my homages to the late dr cp srivastava who was first secretary general of the four, four time secretary general of the imo and a big figure in indian shipping fraternity today's theme is maritime law and prospect for india for which we have invited professor mukherjee to speak and president uh, wmu both of them have given their time to address this gathering and we are enlightened with the words given about the indian law graduates and other students by the wnu president as far as india is concerned the maritime legal fraternity i want to emphasize certain points because the theme is maritime law and prospects for india so for the benefit of students and all the gathering because this is a national school and various students must be attending the address so let me give some facts about indian maritime industry and indian maritime fraternity and how we can grow and how the prospects of indian legislation and the legal professional is high india has a long time history we have built a glorious maritime history tradition when india used to across sail across many seas and carried out prosperous trade with asian and middle east countries now after 5000 year after we started this trade with the middle east we have an extensive coastline of 7500 kilometers we have 12 major ports we have 200 non major port which normally we call the intermediate ports across the coast of india as far as seafarer is concerned we have 4000 4 5 50000 seafarers out of which 2 50 000 seafarers are employed every year this is a large pool and this pool is trained in our dgs approved maritime training institute we have around 155 maritime training institutes which are imparting the maritime education based on the imo convention that is stcw convention as far as ship recycling is concerned we have a large hub of the ship recycling facilities in our state at alang sosia which is situated in gujarat we have around 155 shipyards and 155 shipyards with 91 Hong Kong Convention compliant shipyards. As far as volume of the shipping recycling is concerned, we are second, and uh, around 30% of total ship recycling in the world, we are recycling uh, around one third of the total volume. Bangladesh is the first, and India is the second. We have also ratified Hong Kong Convention in 2019. We have enacted the legislation through our Parliament as Ship Recycling Act. We have notified our rules also. so that industry that recycle industry again has been taken over care of by the regulatory aspects as far as tonnage is concerned we are around 16th in the world if we compare with the dead weight we are 16th in the world and 95% of our trade by volume and 70% by value is by maritime route this is the significance 90% by volume and 70% by value is through maritime trade whole whole maximum maximum trade is through maritime therefore there is a long prospects of the legal fraternity and legal profession and development of law in india we have uh, around we have allowed 100% foreign direct investment in shipping industry so that foreign fraternity can join indian shipping industry by way of opening their companies or uh, uh, owning the ship under indian flag we are also legislating we refining ourselves and presently two most important bills are under consideration for revamping first is merchant shipping bill which will deal with the technical aspect of registration service certification and we will also enact a new coastal shipping which will emphasize on development of the coastal shipping in india 
Beside this, these are two major. We have a number of legislation, a number of act, a number of conventions we have ratified. We have ratified around 36 conventions and we have enacted around a dozen of acts, multimodal transportation, merchant shipping, coastal shipping, suppression of unlawful activities, even provident, and, and a number of other so many acts are there. There is a need. There is a need that some regulatory reforms is required to be done in certain areas, like illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing, which we call it IU fishing. This sector is not fully legislatively controlled around the world, and there is a need that this sector is also legislatively controlled or regulated by enactment of the law across the world. We are also considering, we, we are in discussion with our Ministry of Fisheries, and uh, very soon, we will come up with some, some of the draft for illegal and reported unregulated fishing and all technical aspects related to fishing vessels. There is a scope in the multimodal transportation, there is a scope in the insurance, there is a scope in the admiralty. Admiralty, I would uh, like to inform the students and the gathering that we have enacted Admiralty Act in 2017. And after this enactment, we have given admiralty jurisdiction to all coastal states, all coastal states. Means all high court now can exercise admiralty jurisdiction around 7,500 kilometer coast of India. So there is a good prospect. But I understand because we have the legislation in place, we have the convention in place, we have the industry assets in place, we have ports, we have a number of infrastructure, we have insurance expert, we have multimodal expert. There is a large scope, there is a huge scope of development of maritime fraternity and maritime legislation in India. And we are eager, Professor Mukherjee will throw more light. With these words, I will just congratulate all the students and the organizer of the uh, this event, the National Law University, and more specifically, the center which we have established in collaboration with the NIU. Thank you.